Who's on? Who's on? Hey, who's here? Cassidy. Good. How are you? Okay, so you're ready for for some real work? I am, yep. Okay. Yeah. Right. Hey, here we go. Look at the yeah, you better leave your phone in the truck, remember? Phone in the truck. Ex Excellent. Yeah. We're actually gonna get some work out of you for a change. I love this. <laughs> okay, Blair, give her the give her the once around here. What's going on here? Well, I'm just getting back into it here. The car was blocked up. We had to spot crime a few areas. So I'm hoping we'll use your expert eyes. Look for uh, any pinholes as we do a final scout from this. Just a few spots. But we gotta go with the whole car around the 400 grit. Uh, I think it's pretty good. I'd like to be able to paint this in about three days, I hope. Okay. And uh, then, I don't know, are we building this or are we selling it? Um. Well, okay, Cass, once this thing's in paint, right, then here, if you come out here, I'll show you plan B. Wait a minute, what's plan B? <laughs> well, we have, we have plan B lurking yeah. under. <laughs> no, no, no. If this is plan B? Yeah. Okay, that's. We got to change the frame on this. Yes. So you got to get the 32 Buick out to get the 70 Buick in on the two posts. So yes. Lift the body. Yes, up, yes. Get the frame out. And then we got to put this one over there. So yes. We got to move all the stuff out there. Yes. So that we can move these cars around. And where do we put all the stuff in here? So you have to do. Yes. Well, we're blocking. Yes. Well, first I have to go to Kamloops. I've got some other commitments, but okay. But anyway, this is the plan for, for today. And then, yes, this has to, that has to, and this has to. Yeah, and... <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. Anyway, well, we have as much work as you can squeeze in around your part-time job, Cass. It's a full-time job. Well, no, I'm not hiring you full time. I can't afford to to all. Oh, if you had your paperwork, maybe, but I only hey, hire Red my, Seal. Mike, who has my paperwork? Honorable who, apprentice. Who, is oh, honorable. Honorable. who has my paperwork? Who had your paperwork? You. You already supposed signed to be, it. I know. And gave it to you. Honorable <laughs> apprentice. Okay, so honorable apprentice, shut up and get to work. Let's go. Pitter patter. Well, I guess I will find it all and we will get it printed off as soon as I get back. Okay. Okay, there. Anyway, guys, we're all glad to see Cass back and hopefully Blair's going to actually show her how to work again. I know she's been slacking, but I we have a full time job. This is now my second job. I work more than you do. <laughs> well, Eddie, if everybody should work more than me. I'm retired, Cass. Since when? <laughs> Yeah, I suck at retirement. Anyway, guys, this is what we've got planned. We have this, the Roadrunner clone, and then we have the big block convertible clone. So stay tuned. Uh, we're finally back at the shop. It's been a month away when we dilly-dallied and drove 11,000 kilometers and polluted the planet. And now we're back and we're going to get some work done.
Gordon Blair. Amen. Okay, guys. Uh, Cassidy showed up for one day. Blair gave her shit for another day. And according to the uh, Grand Poobah here, this thing's going to be in paint here in the next day or two. Yes. Yes. Okay, so what did we accomplish yesterday, Blair, besides looking at three million pinholes at Cassidy with their... Well, I don't <laughs> even think there were pinholes. She's so freaking picky. Her eyes are way, way freaking better. Anyhow, I went and filled in every dot that she circled. Yep. I sanded the rockers, done everything, and I finally powered out instead of masking it last night. I just want to take my time, clean the freaking booth out for an hour, and then we're going to start masking and potentially we could paint it this afternoon, but to start painting after lunch with water barn could have us here all night. So we'll debate on that later. So we'll pontificate on that. You're gonna clean the booth, we're gonna get her prepped, you're gonna get her all masked, yes. and then we'll see where we're at for time. Exactly. So it might be a better idea to start first thing in the morning. Yeah. The bigger cup, yeah, but it's still not quite enough to do one coat, eh? No, no, I probably shave me one. Uh, I've had all this stuff on the mixer, that was an old can of sealer I discovered. Oh, why? Uh, the hamster for a while. Oh, yeah. Make sure to pick it up. Do you dilute that stuff or is it straight? Nope. Gotta mix it with 465. All right. Anyhow, getting texture, I guess. I'm not used to such warm temperatures. <laughs> I mean, it's nice in here. Yes. I don't know if we're mixed. <laughs> so now I think I might have a bit of texture. I maybe should have. Anyhow, we'll see what happens. Yeah. You know what texture means? We call them off. <laughs> yeah. 250. So what's the ratio on this stuff? One to one. One to one. So 250, 500. And the SATA cups here, they got the demarcations right on the side. Oh, is it that handy? It makes it pretty clear proof. Yeah. It's not mic proof though. Well, no, and, and I do make sure to read the label on each can before I dump it in. Yeah. Shit happens. We need stir sticks, man. Okay. Well, 
Our buddy Mike didn't bring us a couple hundred? No. Just okay. Now I'm gonna have a big line of dry spray. Where you start and where you finish, you know what, I'm gonna finish at the front of the passenger door, and that's where my dry line is gonna be. Um, it's, it's a real toss up where to start and where to finish. Yeah. But that's what I'm doing. How's our sealer coming? You got any texture? You worried? You concerned? There's a little texture. There's always a little texture. Yeah, is a little texture a good thing or a bad thing? It's not a great thing, no. No, it'll be all right. I mean, we'll see how it is here. It doesn't really flow out more than it has already. Yeah. But I've got paint to go on and a bunch of clear. Yes, so you're not worried. Only yeah. mildly concerned. The Painting is the best freaking part, right? It's fun, it just, wow, boom. It's always the problem perfect. with it <laughs> is every time you walk into the booth in the morning to paint a car, you know at the end of the day you're not gonna be happy because it doesn't matter how hard you try. It can always be better. So, you, you know, you go in there, do your best, see if I can see what it looks like when we're done and hopefully it doesn't need too much finesse. So shall we document this or not? I don't know how to work. Just try to try it quicker. Yeah. Well, I'm just so glad oh, you're here, Mike. Okay. Oh, hi on all. Let's get a good look at this. And the reason is. And the reason is. My fault. After I sprayed it all. I saw you go down the door jam. Yes, I looked inside the door jam and I thought I was a bit light. So I gave it one shot and I should have waited. Now I have to let it set up a bit, and I'm going to wet sand it down, and I may have to blow a bit more sealer over top of it. I'm hoping not. I don't see any other spots, but yes. this is the only spot where I screwed up my pattern. The pattern is incredibly important. Yes. So this is the wrong way. I wanted to make sure you got to see that, right? Now excellent, that. excellent. Glad you could point that out yeah, to us. You bet. So there you go, guys. That is the wrong way. We want to do it the right way next time, but he's just... Well, now that you've seen it, I don't have to do it the wrong way again. We don't have to replicate this Exactly, right? Excellent. Thank you. Okay, guys, uh, because we're using a water-based paint, we're trying to be a little more environmentally friendly, and it's a total different animal, right, Blair? Well, yeah, it's a different process, right? So this particular brand, we give it a full coat on a panel, 70% overlap, and we back up about double your distance, and we do another coat. 70% uh, overlap again, and that's freaking it. If everything's right, you don't have to do it again. You go around the car once. So, as, as I did on the sealer, I do my edges first. That's where people always miss. Yeah. You know, at the bottom, around headlights. So I do those first to make sure I've covered those, because it's really easy to miss. Then I fill in the blanks. So, when I start a coat, where you start and you come around and finish, you have dry spray because the paint's already dry when you come up with the wet coat to finish off. So I started at the back of the front fender. Now I'm gonna start at the back of the passenger door. I'd rather have the dry spray back there. So I'm gonna do my rocker, do all my edges, and then work my way forward and go around the car. So yeah, it'll probably, probably take me at least a couple of cups. And it's a very thin coat. You just need to be even. So you just have to have a pattern that's exactly yeah. the same all the time, especially with metallics. But that's where I'm working. I don't want to turn the gun at the end of the stroke. I'm trying to keep it square always and just keep going and be a machine. Um, I'm still learning. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Roboto. Yeah, that would be cool. There we go. Alan Parsons, we should crank him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Rock on, Mr. Smith. Normally we don't have spectators in the booth, but as you guys can tell, I'm sitting in the back of the booth, so basically there's not much chance of me getting dirt. Like I said, he's going to start with his edges. Easy to do the mouth on. <laughs> Ten percent is pretty easy. Yeah. Seven fifty-seven, six fifty. Okay. Seventy sixty-five unit controller. So if it was really hot, you would use like twenty percent. Uh, no, you have different temperature controllers. Oh, 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 okay, I see. So the ratio, it's, they just give you a range. Yeah. Now, I'm pretty sure I got lots of paint or I wouldn't have started painting. Yes. But when I err on the side of caution, man, yes. holy How many times have we been three quarters of the way through and, Terry, Terry. Yeah, <laughs> normally it's like eight o'clock at night and yes. we're home. Yes, yes. So. And we're begging for a quart of paint. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I really should have mixed up a couple to start with, but I thought I'd get a lot farther. Yeah. You know, I'm the problem with thinking. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't happen much around here. No matter what Terry says, we're ordering two extra quarts. Yeah. Uh, we, we already did. I know we did. Mind you, we did the inners and under the hood and right? Yes. Whose idea was that? Oh. Oh, let me <laughs> <laughs> I We are not casting any blame. <laughs> Never let them see you sweat. That's the ticket, Blair. Anyway. Right up until I run out. Yeah. I am a hundred percent confident. <laughs> well, we got enough for about three squirts after that one. <laughs> yeah. What do we got? Quarter in a trunk. I think I can. I think I can. <laughs> <laughs> whoosh, whoosh, you know, whoosh, we blend into whoosh. black. That'll look pretty freaking cool. <laughs> yeah, 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 let's put some flames in it at the end. The back quarter will just put some flames. Get your helmet in, give us a hand. To the nitty gritty, Mr. Smith. Well, and of course, there's always going to be a couple of spots. So, 
Yeah. Sure hope he can replicate that. <laughs> no scratches. No scratches. In assembly, right? No scratches. Oh man, that's freaking close. Well, I'll put the lid on. We can all there's all be enough to. Well, I got to go back in. I didn't quite get it. Yeah, but I mean that be enough to touch up a couple scratches if we seal that up. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. A couple yeah. match heads worth. Wow. That was pushing it. Good thing we got lots of clear. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I can might want to empty out those other two two ones that were sitting there. It might get a couple drops out of them. Holy dude. Yeah, that all can't run down the side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah. we're gonna let her sit for 20 minutes, half an hour, and I'm gonna go see what I screwed up. Okay. And I can touch it up. You ain't gonna have you aren't gonna have any paint left to touch. Well, I got enough. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. What, is there any left in there at all? Wait a minute. What the hell is this? What the hell was that? I have no idea where this came from. Oh, that's weird. No. It looks like the right color. What is it, though? What do you mean? Yeah, well, what's it from? I don't know. I, I might have to phone Terry and see if he delivered paint in this last time. I mean, it was two months ago, three months ago. We were gone a month. Been another like, three weeks. Does it sell long like that? That wouldn't surprise me. Oh, she looks orange. Yeah, I heard. We got uh, the hood. What's that? Flat black. What is that? I don't know what that is. Uh, figure it out though. But this mid? Yes. Could be a nib. It's gonna take a lot of clear to bury that mother. Yeah. Good thing we got gallons, eh, Blair? Well, yeah. So, I mean, this is mostly flat oh. black and hood. Yeah. I don't know. You got something going there. Uh, I know. What is that? Some kind of contamination. I mean, I wiped it down. So what are we going to do? Well, I'm going to clear coat it. You can't stop now. Oh, okay. There's going to be one stripe of color down the center. Right where right? it is. And the rest is flat black. Yeah. So if I have to deal with that, if I can't polish it out in the clear, I'll have to reshoot that center. Yeah, that's so weird. Because right? everything else looks perfect. Everything perfect. else is good, man. Yeah. So maybe I didn't wash it well enough or my rag became contaminated. I mean, it doesn't matter what happens now. It's pilot error, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. That's why I'm letting you paint this one, see? Sure. The don't stick to me on this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rust yeah, looks really good. Yeah, I mean, it's straight, the lines are good. Watch out! Whatever you do, don't walk into that part. <laughs> it's dry. Okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. So, no, I'm, uh... Of course, so the only flaw is right in the center of the hood. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's either there or the driver's door handle every freaking time. So uh, maybe that's a good place to put a hood on it. <laughs> a big one about this long, not wide. Yeah. Whatever, we'll see what yeah, it looks yeah. like once it's clear. It's going to look good. Yeah. I'm going to come in here and clear coat it in about half an hour. See, it's just the texture. Like you couldn't, you couldn't try that spot if you wanted to, because it's right. Okay, so I dusted over it. Yeah. Now you can watch it dry. Really good, so 
That's the beauty of a paint job. If you're going to get screwed, it's going to be the last step. <laughs> Used to. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm using a slow uh, reducer. Even, uh, just give me more time for flow up. Yeah. Uh, it's going to take some work. But um, it's going to be shiny. It's looking all right. Okay, perfect. So, yeah. So when you do, do the clear, how long do you wait before coats? Well, You've got to actually wait. You know, if you touch your thumb to an area, your finger, yeah, you should pull off strings and then wait just a bit longer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not scientific. It depends. This is a high viscosity clear. Yeah. I understand it's designed for baking. Uh, it's the clears I like to use, so they have lots of resins for polishing. Yeah. Not that we need to. But uh, some production clears, they flash off, and you can touch them in 10, 15 minutes, and you go ahead again. This particular clear, I'm gonna, you know, I'll be able to leave a thumbprint, but it won't be wet. Okay. Tacky. Yeah, yeah. So then I can pound it on a little bit more on my next coat. So yeah, feeling good. Should look good. Okay, so now we're waiting 20 yeah, minutes. Waiting at least 20 minutes. Okay. Not, it's a fair paint job. It's gonna be good when we're done. Oh man, I'm not so cruel, Matt. Nah, nah, you're just being cruel. Oh. It's gonna be, you said it's gonna be. Oh yeah, I mean it's easy to polish. I'm not gonna get carried away like on his car. No. We're not giving it the legacy Matt job, right? No. We're gonna denib it. Yes. And you know, it's straight, it's shiny, it's wet. I mean, there's a great reflection. I'm happy with that. I'm unhappy with the actual texture. You know, 70 degrees in here. I thought it would flow better. I've got one more coat to do. Um, I mean, it's a good paint job. It's gonna look polish, great. I can make it a show finish. Just depends how hard we want to work at it. So, mission yeah, accomplished. How so many coats of clear wires on three? Yeah, I'm gonna give it one more. Yeah, yeah, we got lots. Put it on. Cause you know I can f it up when we polish it up. Ah! Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Look, man, you put a drip in it. No, I oh, look yeah, at the drip. Did. Put in. <laughs> Jeez. Cause I got my hairs back here. And I was walking around the whole thing. Woohoo! Yeah. Yes. It's good. It's good. Better would be better. Yeah, it can always be better. It could be worse. Yes. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, That's right. it's, it's all right. right. When we finish it off, it'll be stunning. stunning. Spectacular. Yes. For might now. Have to, might have to bring Matt down to pick up I that. Ah, jeez, man. Well, that's close. Like, you recorded a job. You 
can't get that close. It's wet. Everything's wet, Matt. Yeah, maybe you can get uh, Matt to come out and pick up that frame. Hey, that sh was all vanished, eh? Gee, who would have thought? Who would have thought? You were, you were praying it was going to vanish. Oh, I knew it would get wet. Matt, just stay the f Step away from the f***ing car. Watch your back. Watch your back. You're going to hit that piece again. Right. Okay. Okay. Let's get out of so here. So it's all right. Yes. You're just checking it for tack. Yep. I can carry on to my last coat. Okay.